Thanks for joining me today. In this video, we will discuss the deployment methods that are available for the Forcepoint Web Security Cloud solution. This will include a discussion about the Proxy Connect Endpoint, Direct Connect Endpoint, and the Firewall Redirect methods. If you are looking for installation instructions specific to one of the deployment methods, then please refer to the other videos in this playlist that cover the installation of each deployment method. If you have any questions during this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Enjoy! There are two main deployment methods, one is based on an endpoint agent and the other is based on a firewall redirect. The endpoint agent is the most common deployment method used by Forcepoint Web Security Cloud customers. There are two types of endpoints that have slightly different functionality, but both provide the ability to protect a global roaming workforce. Both endpoints will apply your web policies to the user's web traffic port 80 and 443. Both endpoint types support Windows 64-bit, Windows 32-bit, Apple OS, Mac OS 64-bit, Citrix, and VMware. These endpoints support almost all modern-day browsers such as Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Apple Safari. Let's discuss how these endpoints function and how they differ. The Proxy Connect endpoint is the most used endpoint type. This endpoint redirects all traffic to the Forcepoint Cloud Proxy for analysis by enforcing a PAC file into the user's system. The PAC file or Proxy Auto Configuration script is a text file that includes logic that tells the system where to route the user's web traffic. In this case, it's routed to the Forcepoint Cloud for filtering. This endpoint supports the widest set of security features such as SSL decryption for real-time content analysis, data security scanning, and file sandboxing. It is important to note that the real-time protections that are available with the endpoint rely on the Forcepoint Cloud being able to decrypt the SSL or HTTPS traffic that is coming from your users. To be able to perform SSL decryption without presenting errors to the end users, we must deploy the Forcepoint Cloud SSL certificate to the user's machines. This certificate is available in the policy and is typically deployed to the user's machine through GPO. The less common endpoint type is the Direct Connect endpoint, and the Direct Connect endpoint was designed really to resolve certain issues that some of our customers experience when using the Proxy Connect endpoint. This endpoint functions by sending traffic direct to the internet rather than being routed through our Forcepoint Cloud proxy. When the request is made by the end user, the agent checks in with the cloud to determine whether or not the user is allowed to go to the site they are requesting. The cloud logs the request and informs the agent whether or not to block. The Direct Connect endpoint is ideal for use in situations where the use of a proxy may be problematic. Direct Connect endpoint can improve security and usability of the service in some of the following scenarios. Off-site users that proxy connections cause issues. In areas where geographic firewalls prohibit the use of proxies. When geographically localized content is critical. The trade-off when using Direct Connect Endpoint is that not all of the Forcepoint Cloud features work due to how the Direct Connect Endpoint functions. Some of these services include true file type download blocking, cloud data security, bandwidth reporting, and YouTube for schools. For more information regarding how the endpoints function, please refer to the article below titled Web Endpoint Overview. For more information regarding the Direct Connect endpoint limitations, please refer to the article below titled Endpoint Deployment and Installation. Now that we have discussed the endpoint deployment methods, let's talk about the firewall redirect method. The endpoint agents are great, but they will only enforce web policies on the user's machines that they are installed on. To be able to filter other traffic, such as network traffic, there is a firewall redirection method. This can be used in conjunction with the endpoints. It really depends on your specific use case though. Do you have devices in your network that you cannot install an endpoint on but you would like to filter? Or do you need to apply policies based on IP address or network range? Let's take a quick step back here to mention that the endpoint policies can be applied to the user or group, while the firewall redirect can be used to apply policies to the user, group, IP address, or IP range. This is a key differentiator between the endpoint method and the firewall redirect method, but both methods can be used in conjunction with each other. When you have the endpoint installed, you will still be able to apply web policies to the users when they are roaming. When you are only using the firewall redirect, you will not be able to enforce policy when the users are roaming unless you force them to VPN back in. Now back to the firewall redirect. This method allows you to configure your edge firewalls to route web traffic to the Forcepoint Cloud service. This will utilize a GRE tunnel or an IPsec tunnel to perform the routing. When multiple firewall redirects are configured, you can assign which connection receives which web policy. The firewall redirect method is ideal for situations where there is a guest Wi-Fi network with users that do not belong to a domain and authentication and SSL decryption are not required.
It is also ideal for situations where there are unmanaged endpoints that require web policy enforcement, but that cannot have endpoints installed on them, such as servers, guest devices, etc. For more information regarding the firewall redirect, please refer to the article below titled Firewall Redirect. Thanks for watching this video where we discuss the deployment methods that are available for the Forcepoint Web Security Cloud solution. This included discussion about the proxy connect endpoint, direct connect endpoint, and the firewall redirect methods. For more information regarding the installation process, please refer to the other videos in this playlist. In the next video of this implementation series, we will configure and discuss what protections are available within a policy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below or reach out to your account manager for more assistance. If you would like to see more of these videos, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to be alerted when more videos are posted. See you next time.